LED conversion using dual end fed LED tubes in fixtures with two ballasts. The video answers the question, what do I do if my fixture has two ballasts and all kinds of wires going everywhere? We're going to show you step by step. It doesn't matter if your fixture is a T12 or T8 fixture. It also doesn't matter if your sockets are shunted or non-shunted. Your sockets do not need to be replaced unless they are old and brittle. If your fixture is controlled by two switches, do not wire it in the manner we show you here. The video is not very long and covers a lot of ground. Watching it all the way through will save time and money. Show it to your electrician. Let's talk about safety first. Before you get started, shut off the circuit breaker that goes to your lighting circuit. If you cannot lock the breaker cabinet, put some red tape across the circuit breaker. In a commercial setting, use a lockout device on the breaker so it cannot be turned on while you're working. Also, don't forget to bring yourself a work light. You are shutting off all the lights, so you need to be able to see what you're doing. I always carry a work light with me and plug it in, set it on the floor and shine it up at the light fixture so I can see what I'm doing. Just a thought. So we flipped it over and we're exposing the ballast compartment and we're just gonna kinda take a look, see of what we got. Now we have two ballasts in this light fixture and that's because each one of them does three light bulbs. So to have six light bulbs total, you have to have two of them. Now there's a lot of places where you have two ballasts and it's in a four lamp fixture where they may have put it two and two, or they may have put it one and three. And this allows for two levels of lighting in the space and it's common. So if your light fixture turns on with two switches, like the one here, it's very possible that your light fixture has two ballasts in it. It's the only way they could have separated the circuit. So I hope that makes kind of sense. It's always good if you're in question to send us a picture of what you have we'd like to see it. Just that way we're not shipping something that's not gonna work. So let's kind of look at this rat's nest here, wires. And it's okay that they're all they're all bundled up in here, all the excess. That, there's nothing wrong with that at all. We got some red and blue going to that end down there and it's kind of coiled up. Here's the hot and neutral going down here to this ballast. And let's see here, here's the hot and neutral coming down here to this ballast. You can see that red and blue wires going down to the socket. And then here in the middle, uh, let's pull some of this back and see if we can sort this out. Now there's the green wire, and it's the ground wire, and it's attached to the light fixture. Good job there. Here's the wires coming in from the cord and plug, and they did leave us some length here. That's good. I wish it was a little longer because it can be an issue. So if you have a way to pull some extra wire into the light fixture, that's a good thing because we have to make the wires come to this point to connect to the sockets when we convert this light fixture. And you're gonna see what I mean here in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and remove both ballasts. I'm gonna cut the wires. Um, we're gonna remove these wire nuts and expose some of this uh, so you can get a clearer indication. The end result and the end goal is on a double-ended LED tube, we need to supply power to both ends. One end is hot and one end is neutral. We have all kinds of drawings and diagrams on our website so you can see what I mean. Now this is an important step, cutting the wires. You might want to try just disconnecting here and taking this ballast out, which would be a safe thing for you to do because you can always go back and retrieve those wires. Um, these little guys here look like something really fancy and, and dangerous and expensive and all that, but really all they are is little quick connects and it allows the people to disconnect the ballast while they're working on it, um, and the power's hot. Um, but we talked earlier in our video that you're gonna do this work with all the power off for safety reasons. So let's remove the ballast. So I'm gonna cut the wires close to the end of the ballast, very close. We're not using these ballasts anymore, so there's no reason um, for me to wanna to save them, and they're gonna fail anyway. So I'm removing the wires coming to the ballast, and pulling everything back. And I'm gonna do the same on this side with this ballast, cutting the wires close to the ballast, and pulling them back. And again here, I'm gonna just cut all the wires. We're not gonna use them, the ballasts are going away. We are gonna use the wires, and that's why I'm being very careful in keeping the wires, because I'm gonna to wanna to use the wires to hook up the LEDs. So just to keep things clean and simple, I'm gonna remove the ballast completely 
So they're out of our way and they're not looking at them anymore. Going, now what do I do with those? So there's no reason to leave them in here. And there's actually no reason to take them out. They're not hurting anything. They're not connected to anything. So I'm going to take these out right now. Just have to do undo one screw on one side because it obviously just slips out. Oh, that one's a little tight. There we go. So the ballasts have been removed. The wires to the sockets have been cut. And I'm just going to put this down here out of the way. And I'm going to put these down out of the way. You're going to like how simple this actually is. So back to our wiring. We have an extra hot and an extra neutral coming in. Now, ideally, if I can, I'd like to take these wire nuts off and abandon these wires too. Let's take a look and make sure I can get there. As I said earlier, I'm gonna take the green and put it out of the way. As I said earlier, one side's gonna be hot and the other side is gonna be neutral. So ideally, I'd like to, here's my neutral. I'd like to bring one side of the light fixture all the way in. Well, here's the problem. I can't reach it. See, the wire isn't gonna meet up. Now, if these were longer, we could do it and we could remove this but they're not. So um, on a cord and plug setup, um, I could just push some more wire into the fixture and that would work. By the way, that's Oscar and he thinks he lives here. My wires don't reach. That's the worst case scenario. But remember, I left these connected. So black is hot, white is neutral. We're simply gonna strip these down we're going to connect all the blacks together going to this side of the light fixture. And we're going to connect all the whites together going to the other side of the light fixture. So I'm going to trim these up, make them look kind of pretty. And then I'm going to come back here and show you what that looks like. So I'm cleaning up my wires, straightening them out, and I'm stripping them back. Most light fixtures, all the ones we've run into, have an 18 gauge wire in them. And just so you know, you can't buy 18 gauge wire at your regular big home improvement store. So we want to make sure we don't go kind of crazy and throwing everything away. You want to take your time with this process. You don't want to rush it. You want to keep it clean if you can. I'm not the, the tidiest guy in the world, but um, I do like making all of my connections clean. Now, the yellow wire nuts, which we haven't touched yet, aren't big enough for when you have this many wires together. So I use the yellow ones. And you're going to take all the wires, line them up really neat, and just take the wire nut and screw it on tight. So let's see what we have here. Um, we've rewired the light fixture. We have the hot wires, the black, all connected to all the sockets on this end of the light fixture down here. And we have the neutral, the white wires, connected to all the sockets on the other end of the fixture down here at this end. This is the wiring. Let me, let me go through it again. We didn't, we didn't upset this at all. Um, these wires couldn't reach, so we kept the old wires that went to the ballast. We kept the old uh, quick connects. Uh, we left the ground in place. There's no change there. This is how simple it is. So here, let's plug it in and see if we had success. And there they are. And it's painfully bright here in our, uh, in our workshop. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions on our products, please feel free to ask us. Use this email address for quick communication. Support at totallightingsupply.com. We answer product questions all day long, Monday through Friday. However, if you ask questions on YouTube, it may be some time before we see it. Our videos are designed as an overview of our products, and we recommend hiring a qualified electrician for your project to ensure a safe installation. And as always, see the description for links to our website. See the product description on our website for important details, as well as updates and specifications. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new product information. We offer information such as this video and a level of service you will not find anywhere else. Consider using us for your project needs. All of us at Total Lighting Supply hope to hear from you soon.